John Fetterman has been checked into the mental hospital today. This comes shortly after he had to leave a Senate retreat because he was experiencing some health issues. Now, as we all know, John Fetterman obviously suffered a stroke during the, the Senate campaign where he barely defeated Dr. Oz. Thanks, libertarians. Uh, um, he had a stroke, should have dropped out. It was very clear the guy needed to recover whether it was his wife, whether it was his campaign handlers, whether it was higher ups at the Democratic Party, they knew that they were not running a man. They were running a platform. That's what the whole thing was about. Both sides had to swallow a lot of pills, Republicans with people like Herschel Walker, Democrats with people like uh, John Fetterman. They knew it wasn't about the guy. The guy was not going to, to, to change, to make any big changes in Washington, right? They wanted a vote and a majority. And that's why he was pushed into uh, into running for Senate and not dropping out after he had a stroke. Before we get deeper into this, make sure you guys like, turn the notifications on, uh, subscribe, share around if you're feeling generous. Follow my socials at Caleb Is It Funny on Twitter and Instagram, Caleb Salvatore Comedy on TikTok. Uh, obviously, there's this channel here. Um, my show, That's Based with Caleb Salvatore, every Saturday, outlawstreamers.com. You can find it on Rumble, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, or Apple Podcast. Again, that's That's Based with Caleb Salvatore. You can find it at all the links that I just, or all the, the platforms I just named, or right in the description below. You can click it there too. And, you know, this is going to drop Saturday. Because I'm going to, I'll be in, Ro I'm, I'm recording this Thursday night. Tomorrow I'm leaving, I'm going to Roswell, New Mexico. I'll be down there, come say hi if you're in the area. Um, so I just wanted to get this video out, you know, make sure to have something to post for Saturday. So if stuff has changed between now and then, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, so John Fetterman has checked himself into, excuse me, a mental institute, he said, or mental hospital. He said, it's a, this is the official statement right here. Pennsylvania U.S. Senator John Fetterman's chief of staff, Adam Gentleson, on Thursday released the following statement. Last night, Senator John Fetterman checked himself into Walter Reed National Military Medical Center uh, to receive treatment for clinical depression. While John has experienced depression off and on throughout his life, it only became severe in recent weeks. Well, if you listen to Andrew Tate talk, that's fake. <laughs> um, on Monday, John was evaluated by Brian P. Monahan, the attending physician of the United States Congress. Yesterday, Dr. Monahan recommended inpatient care at Walter Reed. John agreed, and he is receiving treatment on a voluntary basis. After examining John, the doctors at Walter Reed told us he's getting the care he needs and will soon be back to himself. Well, that's not saying much. <laughs> like, that's not... Be back to himself? It's like... Um, personal story. My chihuahua just got diagnosed with early onset heart disease. They caught it early. It's my girl's chihuahua. It was a package deal. It's fine. Uh, they caught it early, so they think it's going to be okay. And the doctor was, you know, I had to go in because she was at work during the day. And I had to go in and talk to her or talk to the vet. And he's sitting there. He's telling me, okay, so has she been angry, lethargic, um, sleepier than normal? And I'm like, you literally just described the chihuahua. That's what I'm imagining right here. Uh, I'm like, the he's going to be back to himself like okay congratulations i mean um but jokes aside and i i know i'm not a big fan of him admittedly i'll, I'll tell you this from the get-go i am not a fan of him i don't like his politics um i i want my elected officials to dress a little bit nicer than me and not look like clowns when they when they put a suit on i'm sorry i, I want an elected official to wear a suit I, I'm, I'm not i'm sorry if i'm a snob not the hoodie and shorts thing that he he became known for, but uh, I, I'm not a fan of him. I mainly his politics. I disagree with him. I make fun of him on my on my show all the time. We make fun of him, but I would not wish what he has gone through on my worst enemy. To have probably your wife, your handlers at the Democratic Party, your campaign staff, you know the the Democratic Party of Pennsylvania, the higher ups, your donors push you right after you had a stroke, drag you across the finish line when you should have spent that time recovering. It is disgusting. The way he has been betrayed by what's supposed to be the woman that, that loves him more than anyone is absolutely saddening to me. And there's no joke there. There's nothing to joke about. The way she should have stepped, she could have stepped in at any moment, even if she wasn't pushing him. She could have stepped in at any moment and said, this is enough, my husband needs to rest. But she chose not to do that. Because she's a hyper-partisan political activist as well. And she knew the stakes of that election too. So she let it ride. She let her husband get tortured. Tortured. Running for office. When he could have spent time recovering. 
They say it's like the first six months after you have a stroke are the most vital. Those are gone. This is him for the rest of his life now. And who knows how much better he would have gotten, but I guarantee you, I'm not a doctor, right? But I guarantee you that he would have been a lot better off than he is right now. And this is only the beginning. This guy's been in office, what, a month? And in the last week, he's checked into the, the hospital for undisclosed health problems. If they did disclose him and I missed it, let me know in the comments. I'm all ears. I'm not immune to criticism. And, and now he's in for depression. He's battled depression. Okay, here's what it's... Let's read this again. John has experienced depression off and on throughout his life. It only became severe in recent weeks. Well, he took office about four or five weeks ago. So this guy's been in office, what? Five, six weeks? And he's suffering from the worst depression of his life? Do you think that's a coincidence? Or do you think that the people who pushed him to do this are responsible for it? This is dependent adult abuse. Honestly? Honestly, I think he, these people involved need to go to jail, including his wife. I think there needs to be some type of investigation. Yeah, he was cleared by a doctor on the campaign. The doctor was a donor. They're all corrupt, the whole bunch of them. They're all corrupt. Every last one of them lied and cheated and abused this man for political power, and it's disgusting. And I'm not a Dr. Oz fan. At all. Yeah, here it is. New York Post. Um, Dr. Or let's see. Dr. Or Fetterman cleared by doctor who donated to campaign. See? That's that's great. And it's it's all over. Free bacon, Newsweek, CNN. It's yeah. So, yes, all of these people are, are complacent in one of the most disgusting public abuses of a man who clearly cannot think rationally or for himself. There needs to be an investigation. If the FBI could take two seconds away from this goose chase with Trump and, and Matt Gates, who it's now come out that the Gates thing was nonsense, too. If they could take two minutes and look into these people or have somebody look into these people. Like someone needs to call adult services in Pennsylvania. I may do it after I get done with this video. This is ins like this is insane. What's going on with him? The guy can't put a, a sentence together. He's been in office for a month, and he's experiencing the worst depression of his life along the same timeline. Maybe it's because he's so stressed out from a job that requires you to be able to think and coherently communicate your message. And he can't do either of those things. And that's not his fault. I'm not making fun of him for that. He can't do it. He's disabled. He had a stroke. And if I did want to make fun of him, for the record, he's a public figure. It's fair game. But I'm not doing that right now because this is a serious video, and this is sad. If you want to see me, see me make fun of him, go to uh, my show. That's based on OutlawStreamers.com, Rumble, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and Apple Podcasts. Let's end this video with that. Um, you can follow my socials, Caleb Isn't Funny, at Twitter and Instagram, Caleb Salvatore Comedy on TikTok. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, turn your notifications on, and share it around if you're feeling generous. Thank you guys so much. Cheat on your taxes, not your spouse. Peace out, and stay based.